Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Today I'm going to do a toasted avocado and cheese sandwich in my toaster oven. So let's get toasting. I only have one avocado, so the first thing I better do is make sure it's not rotten. So let's cut into this baby, see how it looks inside. Perfect. We shall proceed. <laughs> Since this is good, I'm going to cut it into slices here. I guess like, about like that. So like, kind of into eighths. And I'll just, you know, peel the peeling off like that. I also have a little bit of Greer cheese here. G-R-U-Y-E-R-E. -E. I'd never tried this till maybe about six months ago. I saw this on an episode of The Kitchen Witch, Lindsay Wells' The Kitchen Witch, and I'd never heard of it, but happened to see it in the store one day and I tried it and uh, now it's one of my favorite cheeses along with Havarti. Let's put this sandwich together. I have a nice piece of sliced sourdough bread here. I'm gonna spray it with some garlic juice spray. I think I bought that at the Sprouts Market. I kinda like this better than garlic powder because it's not quite so strong. And I'm gonna add, pour a little olive oil on top of that. I guess you could use butter if you wanted, but I'm gonna kinda try to keep this sorta healthy. Okay, spread out that olive oil like that. Now we'll get our avocado on there. I squeezed that whole avocado on there. Now I'll just start topping it with these pieces of Greer cheese. This Greer cheese, uh, it melts pretty good. It tastes kind of like Swiss cheese. Actually, I think it is a variety of Swiss cheese, but it melts better than Swiss cheese. Now we'll go ahead and get this into the toaster oven. I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit of cayenne pepper on top. That will give it a little bit of heat and a little bit more color as well. Now I'm just going to put this right on the oven rack and toast it until the cheese melts. And I put the tray underneath just in case the cheese drips. My cheese looks melted. In fact, it looks like I'm gonna start losing some, so I think I better try to get that out of there without burning myself. Ow, ow, ow. There we go. Nice. This smells really good. Let me cut it in half. Try to cut it in half anyway. So it's a little easier to eat. There we are. And let's have a bite of this baby. This is really good for a simple sandwich. You really taste that garlic from the garlic juice I sprayed on there. And you got the cheese and a little bite at the end from the cayenne pepper. Pretty darn good for a simple sandwich. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you next time.